Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit more advanced, but I know you guys got this. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tutorials, tips, or vlogs, all kinds of stuff I have coming your way. Let's wake up, prep those tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. So the template that I'm using today, I purchased from Emory Ann Designs and she is on Etsy. I'll make sure to put everything that I use today into the description below so that way you guys can find it and use it. I will be using a 20 ounce hog skinny tumbler for this today and she does have a template readily available for those hog tumblers and it's tapered just a little bit at the bottom so that way it's easy to wrap around. And as you can see there, I went ahead and I moved her little sign off to the side that tells you exactly the dimensions that you need to make your template at. So I went ahead and I slid that off to the side. I attached everything back together and now I'm going to size it to the dimensions that she gives on her little bubble cloud there. Now you may be a little freaked out, you know, where, where's the design? I, I don't understand. It, it's, just, it's hidden. It's just, it's just all black. So let me change the color there and then you'll see there it is right there so <laughs> no worries it's there <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get some semi-permanent vinyl on my board and i'm gonna go ahead and get this cut out there was a little bit of stuff that you had to weed out so i'm just gonna go ahead and pull this off it works best if you just pull from the top and drag it all down that way so nothing gets stuck on those little points on the bottom of the design there now we are just gonna get our transfer tape and get it all burnish down now i did sand my tumbler I, I sanded it wiped it down really good because we're just applying everything right to this tumbler the the paint and all that so i did sand it a bit and now it's ready to have all of our fun fancy designs applied once i have everything nicely burnished here i'm going to go ahead and remove my decal from the backing and there's no turning back now we're going to keep moving forward I know you guys got this. So I'm gonna just simply stand my tumbler up because I like to be able to look at it straight on to be able to make sure that my decal is nice and straight on there. You just wanna apply your decal right onto your tumbler and wrap it around. It's as easy as that. The one thing I would suggest is as you go along to pull off your transfer tape from the rest of your decal there once it's laid down and it just makes it a little bit easier to continue that wrapping motion around your tumbler to make sure that everything kind of stays in line and that you can kind of stretch it and pull it down to make sure it stays right up where it needs to on the top of your tumbler there. If you find it doesn't quite meet up in the back, it's okay. It's going to be okay. There's nothing a little extra paint and zhuzhing around won't fix or pinstriping, okay? Don't, don't beat yourself up too much if it just doesn't meet up quite as you'd like it to in the back there. All right, I'm just gonna make sure that my decal is nice and pressed against my tumbler here. It is semi-permanent. We do want it to come off, but just not right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make sure everything's kind of flat and nice against my tumbler. One of the hardest parts is picking colors. What, what colors are you going to use? You could do a simple Google search for Art Deco palettes. You know, it, it's as easy as that. I wanted to do something a little bit be more beachy. So I decided to go with this teal, gold, and white. So the colors that I am using are from my glitter shop, www.socglitters.com. I'm using Oceanside Golden and what will be pinnacle uh, my white color there but please feel free to use any colors that you already have on hand to make this project what i am using as adhesive are these pantheon paints that i got from christy taylor creations again i'll make sure to put her link in the description below these are just beautiful chalk paints and i thought they'd go perfect with my glitters today but you can use any type of acrylic paints that you have on hand to do this as well i am going to mix up a little bit of mod podge and with the paints just to kind of give it a little extra adhesive because i do find if when i just use paints only those glitters tend to kind of fall off uh, a lot more when you go to sweep all the extra glitter off. Now, I did not need as much glue as I put in here. You, you only need a little bit. So <laughs> you only need a little bit of glue. I don't know why I did that, but hey, here we are. 
So I'm going to take my paint. I'm going to add a little bit of my paint to my glue and then we'll move on to this first step. Whatever color combination you do plan on using, you want to make sure that you lay down your darkest color first. That, that's all you want to do. You want to lay down your darkest color first so that way when you go to do your lighter colors, you know, they, they don't go, you know, bleed together. It, it's just easier that way. <laughs> so I want my blue here, my Oceanside blue, right on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and peel away those two outside triangles. So I'm just going to take those two outside triangles and go ahead and remove them all the way down this first stripe here and then I will show you guys how I painted and glitter it. Okay now that I have this first row all prepped here I'm going to go ahead and lay down a piece of paper to catch my glitters. Now you're just going to take that mixture we just made and you're just going to go right inside of the line here. I, I didn't like to go outside of it too much and I am using an angled brush which really helped out uh, to get down in those smaller areas down at the bottom there. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint these on really quick and then we will start sprinkling that glitter on. All right, that's about as thick as I'd like it. And I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that glitter and that's all we're gonna do for this first round. I'm gonna continue around this entire tumbler, pulling those two outside triangles off and glittering it with my blue glitter. Now I did put my wand back on here so that way I could hold it a little bit better, but first I want to show you guys how I did this at the bottom. Now, her template doesn't reach all the way to the bottom, but I wanted mine to reach all the way bottom. You don't have to do this, so I'm just going to paint it and finish it all the way down at the bottom. Now, you can finish it off right where she has it, and then you can just do a pretty little pinstriping around the bottom of the base as well. But like I said, I, I wanted to finish mine off all the way kind of almost to the bottom there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get that glittered and I'll show you guys what that looks like and then we'll keep moving on with this blue glitter around our fancy tumbler here. Now if you accidentally pull up the wrong stripe or anything like that, it's not a big deal. Just take it and place it back down. You'll be just fine. It's going to be okay. Okay, our blue is all laid down and this is what it looks like. It's kind of nice when, when you see a tutorial and then you can be like, okay, that is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, good. It's not a hot mess. <laughs> it is not a hot mess. You're doing great. So we want this to be fully dried before we move on to the next step. So while it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my next stripe, which is right on the inside next to the teal is what I'm pulling next. So while it's drying, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that to kind of prep it for our next color. And this is what it should look like after we pull all those extra little stripes off, prepping it for that next color. It's just right next to it on the inside is what we want to do next. So I'm going to come through and kind of clean up any little extra edges here. It's okay to take a, a razor knife or an X-Acto knife and kind of clean up any little spots. Okay, once it is completely dry, you're going to take a little brush and you're going to sweep off all that extra glitter that is on there so that way when we move on to that next color nothing bleeds together so i'm going to go ahead and sweep this off now after i swept some of my glitter off i noticed that there were some spots that just needed some touching up so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'm going to let that dry completely again all right now we're ready to move on to the gold portion here so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I have my golden glitter here that I'm going to be using. I have my paints here. I'm going to make up a little bit of a mixture of my paint and my glue. And then we'll be ready to do the same exact thing as we did with the blue. Okay, same thing. But this time, there's not tape to kind of hold everything back. So you need to be a little bit more careful. So you're going to take your angled brush and just butt it up right up against your teal here. Do the same thing. Bring it all the way down. And then you can apply your glitter right after you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this other side. And then I'll put my glitter down and I'll show you what that looks like. Now remember what I said earlier. If you see that there are some spots that just aren't very straight or it just didn't kind of match up as well, this is your opportunity to kind of come through and make it straight. So you can, when you apply your glue and your glitter, you can make it just a little bit straighter how you would like it. 
Now again, once I have all of my gold applied, I'm gonna come through while it's drying and very carefully take out the rest of my tape. Now there are two pieces there in the middle. I wanted white completely in the middle, but if you wanted one color on each side, a different color on each side, then you'd obviously only pull one piece of tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull both because like I said, I want them both to be white. Okay, everything is nice and dry. Now I'm gonna take my brush, and again, I'm gonna sweep all those extra glitters off before I move on to that next glitter. Okay, finally, we're moving on to the last glitter. <laughs> it's a long process, but it is so worth it. These are just so beautiful once it is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my paint down, a little bit of my glue, and we're gonna rock out that white center okay so there's absolutely nothing holding this back so this is where you have to be very patient and make sure you come in there very gently and just butt your brush up right against where the glitter is there and come down and just do everything very calmly make sure nothing gets over into the other side unless you want it to like i said if you're trying to straighten out a line or whatnot you could obviously always do that but if you don't want it over there, <laughs> just be very, very careful. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in and I'm going to glitter that up and then I'm going to finish that off and I'm going to let it dry completely and then we'll move on to our first layer of epoxy. Now, if after you do this first uh, layer of white hair, if you're doing the same exact color scheme that I'm doing and you notice that it's just not as bright as you'd like it to, there's nothing wrong with coming back through and just kind of giving it another second coat after you are done. I also wanted my bottom to be white as well. So after I got done painting the inside and doing all that, I went ahead and painted the bottom of my tumbler as well and glittered that up. All right, now, <laughs> you've been working on this all day long now you want to and this is what it should look like just so you know that you're doing great if this is what it looks like when you get done you're doing a great job so now we don't want any of those glitters to shift around all right because that would just you know little specks of blue or gold and with your white you don't want that so I let that dry completely. I went outside. I gave it a really good coating on my two times ultra cover there and then I came back inside and I'm swiping my hand over it and if any little glitters still come off, go back outside and give it one more coat of that clear spray. You don't want any of those glitters to move around at all before you do your epoxy. All right, so I have my epoxy here after that was all nice and dry. I am using Illumilite's Amazing Clear Cast, but you please feel free to use whatever kind of epoxy you have on hand. After I apply my epoxy, I'm gonna hit it up really good with my blowtorch, so that way I can pop any little micro bubbles that might be under that epoxy. I'm gonna let that spin for about eight hours, and then I will come back through. I'll trim up the top a little bit. I'll give it a good little sanding there, and then I'll apply another coat of epoxy over top of this because we want it nice and smooth when we go to apply our pinstriping. I'm gonna let that continue to cure. Make sure it's nice and cured overnight before you start applying your pinstriping. Okay, decal day. Yes, we all know decal day. <laughs> So the pinstriping I'm going to use is actually these little nail tapes that I had gotten on Amazon. You get like 30 packs of all kinds of different colors and it comes with a little dispenser and everything like that. So I'm going to use a gold nail tape that I got through there and I'll make sure to put that into the description below so you guys can find it and use it too if you'd like to. Now I was a little terrified that this wouldn't be enough tape because it looks like you don't get a lot. But I did this entire 20 ounce skinny with all of this. It, it worked with just one roll and I still had lots more left over as well. So that was pretty, pretty good. I, <laughs> I'm happy with that. Cause I, like I said, I was pretty nervous. It wouldn't be enough because you only get one of each color. So, you know, I, I would have had to switch it up and do two different colors. So, <laughs> but it was enough. So if you follow my thumb here, that that's the line we're going to start with we're going to go completely around the tumbler doing each one of those lines all the way around so i'm going to go ahead and show you this first one first well, yes yes the first one first <laughs> you guys know what i mean all i'm going to do is just take my time and just follow this line 
all the way down to the bottom. Once I get to the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it up and then we'll be ready to continue on that motion completely around the tumbler. Now these are its final stages. This is what everybody will really be able to see when they look at your tumbler. So now's your time to hide any little mistakes when you do your pinstriping or whatever it may be. But you just wanna make sure you take your time, make sure that those swoops all kind of, you know, are aligned with each other and just keep going. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna do the opposite direction. You guys are doing an amazing job. I bet that your tumbler is going to be way better than mine. I guarantee it. That's how amazing you are. Okay, now that that is done, I am not too worried about cutting thing, anything out in the middle because these nail tapes are so thin, you can't even see where it intersects with each other there in the middle. So just no cutting or anything involved there. But this part, you, you will need to cut. <laughs> now we have to move on to that extra fine detail of the center of those triangles. So as you can see here, I still have a bunch of my tape left. So I was just showing you guys how much I use so far. I'm gonna start with my center line first. I found that I don't need to do any extra cutting or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run my tape right down the center of my white all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to do that completely around my tumbler. Every time I lay one of my stripes down, I like to pick it up and look at it straight on to make sure everything is nice and straight. And if it isn't straight, it's as easy as kind of peeling that tape back and just readjusting it until it is correct. Now that the center of our fan, our triangle, <laughs> is completed, now it's time to finish the rest of that fan look inside of those triangles. As you can see here, I'm just going to put a stripe next to every single one of those colors inside of that fan. I'm just going to take my pinstriping, lay it down, and I'm going to bring it to a, the point at the very bottom of those square triangles, squares, I don't know, fans, whatever, whatever kind of design they are. <laughs> All you want to make sure to remember is just to bring it to that center. So I just brought it to the center and then I had a very sharp X-Acto knife and I just lightly press down on my tape to release it and i'm going to continue doing this completely around my tumbler this was probably the hardest part of doing this this whole thing and this is what it should look like so far all right so let's get this finished up shall we you're on the home stretch and you're almost done this is definitely going to be a showstopper for you. So make sure you carry your cards with you if you intend on using this when you are out and about because I know people will definitely stop and ask you where you got this tumbler and you can proudly say that you made it yourself. All right, we are done. Well, almost, but still. <laughs> this was a long process, like I said, and I still have a lot more of that tape left, which is awesome. So all I'm gonna do is just finish up my bottom here. I'm just gonna stick it right there and bring it all the way around the bottom just to kind of finish it up. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that up right there. And then I'm just gonna kind of look at it one last time to make sure Everything is all lined up. Again, if you see any lines that just look a little crooked, it's okay to come through. Gently peel back what you can and make sure it is nice and straight against your tumbler there because we worked really hard on this. So we want it to look fantastic. <laughs> Definitely no decals needed for this walking art piece. All right, I'm gonna put a coat of epoxy onto my tumbler. I'm gonna hit it up really good with my blowtorch before I put it on my turner. Then I'm gonna let that cure for about eight hours. I'm gonna apply a second coat of epoxy because I like to add two finishing coats. Do the same process and she is good to go. 
whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own. I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.